Okay, we're at Walmart and it is time to go inside of Walmart and be so brave and vlog this what I buy from Walmart shopping vlog. Happy Monday, everybody. Ugh. Okay, so secret, YouTube secret. I'm filming this on a Sunday evening and um, everybody shops on Sunday evening, apparently. I mean, it doesn't look like the parking lot's very full behind me, but I, I'm promising you that there are a good bit of people in this store right now. So I'm a little nervous. The Aldi is like right there and I'm like so tempted because I'm scared. Do this. Screw it. It is what it is. Checking our noses. We're going in. We're going in. Okay. I'm in the store and I legitimately feel like I need to thaw out. Is my nose red? It is so cold out there. Okay, I see the first thing I need. It's not even groceries. We're gonna go get it. Okay, I need one of these mirrors for my house and they are 588. And my husband is gonna be so mad at me if he knows I got one because we just had to talk about whether or not we should be buying crap that isn't necessity. But, I mean, this is a necessity, isn't it? It's a mirror. I want one of these mirrors so bad. The tall, like, ones that lean. But they're 50 bucks. So, one day. One day. All right, time to get groceries. So, so far, I have gotten my detergent, which is here. Okay. And it's not a keto food item, so I didn't even bother to show you. But I will, if you are interested. <laughs> I use extra because it's cheap and gain because then it makes it smell good. So, you know, cut the corners where you can is what I always say. These are Max um, pork rinds that Walmart sells. And they're zero carbs. So, I don't usually get the spicy version because once upon a time, Max exact brand buffalo version gave me like a breakout. So, I never get any that are like those flavor, but this one's original. Um, and I did grab the original party size, this huge bag, for $2.98. So some more snack options are all of these emerald nuts. This one's mixed. So this is the emerald almonds and walnuts, and they are going to come in around 2 grams of carbs for a fourth of a cup, and that's really good. So just check the carb counts on these kind of nuts and situations, but they're really good. So here's what I'm going to choose out of the nut section. I'm going to get these 10 packs of Planters Salted Peanuts. They were $2.98 for the 10 pack box. And they're going to come in around 3 grams per 1 pack. And I don't think that's terrible. They're not for a snack. So, and I love peanuts. I had some at the hospital the other day. Cooking oil. I'm going to take, is that really $7.58? No, that's for a twin pack. Okay. This is what I want coconut oil pan but look at that one that one's fancy but I'm probably gonna go with this one because I don't want to use canola and just because that says butter does not mean it's made with butter so just please pay attention to that people will buy it thinking oh that must be butter in it no it's not and I want to stay away from canola oils palm oils blah 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 so coconut oil will work just fine and there's zero carbs so I'm not buying this this week because it's not um, not in my budget. But this is the almond flour that I usually get. And uh, we're going to just help Walmart out here and face in front a little bit. But yeah, there's the almond flour I usually buy. So, you know, do what you please. Oh, and guys, I forgot to mention that I made pasta sauce the other day. It was so good. I used this sauce that I actually got at the dollar store so I got or the Dollar Tree so I got ripped off by two cents because they have it here at Walmart for uh, 98 cents and the carbs are great look two and so it, I'm sorry four and then minus the fiber it puts you at two grams and you know I just added my own stuff to it all the Italian seasons I wanted and I put a little garlic in it and it was perfect for pizza sauce so here's the heavy whipping cream I normally get this brand in the small container, but they are out. So I'm actually going to try this brand and we'll see how this works out. This is Borden and I know that they make 
cheeses that we eat. So I don't know, maybe. It seems like this container is a little smaller than normal, but I don't mind that because I really wind up wasting it because I never use a whole bunch. Is this really like, it just seems so cheap. One gram of carb. Hmm. All right. We'll try it. It must be all of the people on keto using up all my heavy whipping cream. <laughs> but that's okay because they did save me some whipped cream and I don't see the Lando Lakes version that I really like so we're gonna go ahead and get the... No, we're not. Are they out of the sugar-free one? Oh no! What am I gonna do? Okay, last resort, these. If you need something sweet and you're about to die, this is a good one because there's one gram in it for two tablespoons and it does taste really good. Some people like this one, I don't, but that one's really good. Here is the big huge cheese we buy. Yeah, that'll last. And we'll shred it up ourselves instead of buying it in the packs. Okay. So I'm going to grab some of these. They look like they're pretty comparable to these because they both have electrolytes. And then these over here have caffeine. Ooh, these have caffeine too. Let's try cherry lime. These bad boys, these bad boys right here are going to be your life savers during keto flu. There's more electrolytes in those, obviously, and there's zero everything in them. I think they have less than a gram of carbs. And so I grabbed two of them, and they're in my cart. I got blue. That's our favorite. Let's keep going. This is the Lando Frost premium roast beef that I wind up getting. Judge me if you think that, you know, deli meat served like this is gross, but I like it. It works out okay, and it's zero carbs. So that's the one. Another tip is to stay away from these prepackaged um, little guys like this that are supposed to season your food. Three grams of carbs uh, per six. So that, what is that? You know, do the math. This is insanity. Like I was looking for one for roast, pot roast or whatever, and that's just not going to happen. I can't. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay. I was looking for one for pot roast and it was like there would have been 20 grams of carbs in the entire package. I'm just going to make my own spices at home. Like that's insanity. I'm not doing that. It's not worth it. So I originally had planned on doing a roast one night, but because they're like $20 right now, they don't have any small ones. I'm going to grab these instead. They're $10 for a box of 21. Well, we're getting them. I got to get some cheese to go with them. So I'm picking up some of this. I've never even heard of it. It says angel hair coleslaw. And so it's going to be three grams of fiber, or I'm sorry, carbs for one and a half cups. And what I'm going to do with it is turn it, and I'm also getting some of this. I'm going to turn it into um, a coleslaw. And I'll show you that in another day. Lord be with me. Lord be with me. I do not need these. 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 I think we officially have everything on our list, so it's time to check out. I've got to get our batteries. Okay. All right, here are the batteries. Do we have any cheap ones? Um, this looks to be about as cheap as it's going to get. So, let's go check out. We're back home again, and if you notice a pretty big difference in the audio and video quality, it's because I had to switch cameras because the smaller camera decided to run out of space. So we're home, we're back home now, and we are gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you, what we got at the Walmart. I've divided everything up in categories here. So we have food and things that are not keto, and then things that are keto. So I'm going to show you what we got that's not keto. There's just a TV blaring in the background. Please ignore that. Um, 
yeah anyways yeah so here's what we got um, we grabbed some paper towels. I just this stuff is not keto, but I just feel like it's fair to show you what this is because it's part of the total. My vape did not cost or did not was not in this. Um, so we got some white bread for my kids. They like it. They eat it. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Um, premium toilet papers. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, we grabbed some. What's this stuff called? You use this to wash your clothes. Laundry detergent. Uh, softener. I showed you all that. Um, grab some milk, potatoes, and a four count of bowls for 88 cents. Thought that was a good deal. They eat cereal every day. Um, applesauce, uh, some Savvy's lunchy thingies, and then some, when we're having keto meals and they won't eat it, they eat these Marie Calendar things. Um, grab some batteries for the remote control. Doritos and a huge thing of paper towels. Oh, and then they got some juice. Um, okay, so on to the keto stuff. I showed you most of this, but I'm going to show you one more time because some of it I didn't. I got the Angel Hair, which I've never even heard of this, coleslaw. I'm assuming it's just cabbage. It looks white. There's nothing. I mean, it's, yep, it literally says cabbage. You can't see that because this camera doesn't like to focus, but it's just cabbage. I don't know what angel hair means, but there you go. So then I got this one, which is tricolor. Um, you can pick the carrots out of this to make this more keto if you'd like, but I just eat it like it is. It is what it is. Carrots didn't get me here. So cool. Shredded lettuce. Um, I use that for taco salads and things like that. Sometimes I put tuna on top of it and eat it like a salad. Grab some white eggs. I have a lot in the fridge already, so I didn't buy a huge can uh, thing of them this time, but eggs. I grab Ziploc bags. That's definitely not a keto item. But I do use it for my huge log of ground beef. Now, I know this is not the best quality. It's really not. But when you're on a budget and you're trying to stay under $100, you need to go with um, the cheapest option. And that's what this is. This is the cheapest option. This entire thing was like $11 and it is five pounds. Yeah, five pounds. So. You know, it is what it is. It's ground beef. You can't get too picky when it comes to ground beef, really. Um, I got some Powerade Zeros. These will save your life in a keto flu emergency. You need to have some electrolytes in your life when you're first starting out on keto, and these will help you. When you start feeling sluggish, tired, maybe nauseous, whatever, drink these because a lot of the time it is your body's way of telling you it's low on electrolytes. Let me explain. Super fast, I want to explain why that is. When you are starting keto, you are getting rid of the carbs. You're not eating all the sugar. When you eat sugar and carbs, your body clings to every water cell it could possibly get and you get swollen and inflamed. And when you stop and you start eating keto and you quit sugar and you quit carbs, your body flushes it out. And that's why you sometimes wind up with the nasty symptoms that we refer to as keto flu, like diarrhea and stuff like that because your body's getting rid of all the water well because you wind up excuse me I'm gonna turn you again because you wind up um, you know with diarrhea sometimes or you know just the fact that you're flushing out toxins maybe through your urine you will wind up a little dehydrated film maybe some low on some electrolytes so stock up you know now to add to that I grabbed these guys they are very similar they're comparable to the my or uh, Mio energy I showed these to you at the store so I'm gonna try these out I got the the energy one with the caffeine and then I got this one here which is just electrolyte so it's gonna taste like just a you know like a Powerade Zero um oh I didn't think to check uh oh oh yep they're good zero carbs yep okay cool I just needed to check yeah this one is too so we're all good anyway on to what's next. I grabbed some Pam, the olive oil version. I showed you that. Um, I grabbed the Wetty Whip in almond milk uh, made with, uh, is it flavored like an almond or is it just, it's just made with almond milk. I've never tried it before. We'll give that a go. Um, they were out of the sugar-free one that I usually get. So pepperoni for Jeff. He likes pepperoni. I got the cheap one because it was on sale. Um, I grabbed some mo uh, mozzarella parmesan, oh no, mozzarella and provolone mixture. Never know what we need that for. We use it a lot. I got some spinach and I'm going to make some creamed spinach. So I also grabbed some cream cheese to make a side. 
I got some heavy whipping cream. I showed you this. This little tiny carton. I don't know. I kind of dig it. An onion because I put everything in like everything. Some coffee. I am not bougie when it comes to coffee. I like community coffee. I don't know. I think that's to kind of give you in like a hotel, but whatever. I grabbed these. I showed you those. I showed you those, and I showed you those. Some steakums. I got some huge blocks of cheese, or one block of cheese that's two pounds. I don't think I showed you this. Provolone. Um, this is going to be for our steakums, but this is a, oh, it usually is zero carbs. I'm confused. Um, anyway, it's less than one gram of carb per slice, so that'll do. I got the roast beef, which I also showed you in the video, so that looks to me like that's about it. I think we're done here. I'm going to put this all away, and I'm going to go eat some dinner. I have some buffalo chicken dip in my crock pot that was cooking, and it's half gone because Jeff ate it. Sorry, guys, but I have to add this in here. Please like this video if you really liked it and tell me in the comments what you want to see next because this was chosen by you guys you chose for me to go to walmart i went to walmart so please tell me what you want to see next and and please like the video and subscribe to the channel i had tons of people come to my facebook to message me about questions or say things and if you want to say something private that is totally fine but if you want to comment on the video tell me down there because you know the more people comment the more people will come and hang out with us and that's what we want is more people to you know experience the keto so enjoy so I'm gonna go put all these groceries away and I'm gonna go sit my butt down on my couch and eat some of that and I hope you guys have a wonderful day oh no I hope you have a magical day and you eat well <laughs>